Picture this, it's a quiet evening, and you find yourself nestled in the cozy embrace of your favorite armchair. The flickering light of your vintage lamp casts a warm glow across the room, creating an atmosphere that's both nostalgic and inviting. As you sip on your freshly brewed cup of tea, the hazy melody of a bygone era softly fills the air. And there it is, that cinematic gem from 1944 cover girl. Your first encounter with this timeless classic was nothing short of enchanting. The allure of Rita Hayworth's graceful beauty and Gene Kelly's mesmerizing dance moves drew you into a world where dreams met reality, and every scene felt like an uncharted journey into the golden age of Hollywood. Can you recall that moment when you were spellbound by the enchanting tale of Rusty and Daddy? When the world of fashion intertwined with the world of dreams, and you found yourself not just watching, but living the story. Perhaps it was the iconic long ago and far away sequence that left you with chills, or the impeccable choreography that had you tapping your feet in unison with Gene Kelly. Whatever it may be, Cover Girl is more than a movie. It's a time machine that takes us back to an era of grace, glamour, and undeniable charm. Now, let's dive into some fascinating random facts about this classic, unlocking the hidden gems and untold stories that make Cover Girl an evergreen treasure. So, sit back, relax, and let the nostalgia wash over you as we journey through the annals of this cinematic masterpiece. After all, it's not just a movie, it's a piece of history. In 1944, Columbia Pictures entrusted Gene Kelly with considerable creative control over the making of the film Cover Girl. Kelly's influence was pivotal to the movie's enduring success. He made innovative choices, like removing soundstage walls to allow for an uninterrupted street dance sequence featuring himself, Rita Hayworth, and Phil Silvers. In another scene, Kelly used trick photography to dance with his own double. His bold ideas brought a unique and dynamic quality to the film. Charles Vidor, the director of Cover Girl, later collaborated with Rita Hayworth in her iconic 1946 film, Gilda. This partnership further solidified Hayworth's place in cinematic history and showcased her talent on the silver screen. The film also had ties to the world of modeling. Several Canover Cover Girl models, including the highest paid model of the time, Anita Colby, made appearances in the movie. Harry Canover, the founder of a prominent model agency, served as an advisor for the film. The movie's title, Cover Girl, was inspired by Canover's original concept and famous trademark, Cover Girl, which was condensed from the phrase Canover Cover Girl. Canover's agency was so successful that his models frequently graced the covers of magazines and advertisements. In conclusion, Cover Girl is not only a cinematic classic, but also a testament to the creative vision of Gene Kelly and the influence of the modeling world on Hollywood. It remains a compelling piece of film history with enduring charm. In the 1944 movie cover girl, Barbara Pepper, seen briefly as a blonde, gum-chewing Corrine, later achieved TV immortality as Doris Ziffel, the slatternly mother to Arnold Ziffel, Hooterville's most popular pig, on the long-running CBS sitcom Green Acres. Barbara Pepper began her career as a performer with the Goldwyn Girls, a stock showgirl-like company. It was during this early phase of her career that she met fellow dancer Lucille Ball, who was then a blonde. The two remained friends throughout their lives. The movie Cover Girl offers a unique glimpse into the early careers of these two women. While their roles in the film might have been brief, their subsequent contributions to the entertainment industry were substantial. Barbara Pepper's transition from a blonde chorus girl to a beloved TV character is a testament to her versatility as an actress. Her portrayal of Doris Ziffel on Green Acres left a lasting mark on television history. In Cover Girl, audiences can witness a piece of cinematic history that played a part in the remarkable careers of both Barbara Pepper and Lucille Ball. While their roles in the movie may have been fleeting, the lasting impact of their friendship and the characters they went on to portray is a testament to the enduring power of the silver screen. The song Poor John featured in the 1944 movie Cover Girl was not written by Jerome Kern. Instead, it's a vintage tune from 1907 composed by Henry E. Pether and lyricist Fred W. Lee. This song gained popularity through Vesta Victoria, a British music hall entertainer. In the film, Rita Hayworth and the male chorus Don Pearly King 
and Queen costumes, and the song is sung with an English accent, likely as a nod to its British origins. On a different note, the song long ago and far away has seen over 80 recordings by various singers and orchestras, with the most recent one in 2010. The 1944 rendition by Helen Forrest and Dick Hames had an impressive run on the charts, staying there for 11 weeks. Moreover, Cover Girl was Columbia Pictures' highest grossing film in 1944. It struck a chord with audiences, leading many small town movie theaters across America to extend its run for several weeks due to its popularity. In summary, Cover Girl isn't just a classic film, it's a showcase of timeless music and was a big hit for Columbia Pictures in 1944. In the 1944 movie Cover Girl, the song Make Way for Tomorrow contains some interesting references that were quite relevant at the time. The lyrics mention the term solid sender and gremlins. Back in those days, gremlins were thought to be mischievous little creatures that caused trouble, particularly on airplanes. If something went wrong with the plane, people often blamed it on these gremlins. Additionally, during that era, most communications happened through shortwave radio. Being a solid sender in this context meant that your radio signal was strong and clear without fading or static noise. It signified that you were doing well in terms of communication. During World War II, when Cover Girl was made, the United States faced fabric and shoe rationing due to the war effort. However, the film industry, including Cover Girl, was considered essential for boosting morale so it was allowed to create lavish costumes. The movie's extravagant outfits were a testament to the importance of cinema during wartime. One intriguing detail from the movie is the scar on Gene Kelly's upper lip. You might have noticed it during scenes where he sang long ago and far away to Rita Hayworth. This scar resulted from a childhood accident when Kelly had a spill from a tricycle. Cover Girl is not just a classic film, but a window into the era of World War II, where terms like solid sender and the presence of gremlins had a specific significance. The film's luxurious costumes were a reflection of the prioritization of the entertainment industry during wartime, and even the actors carried a piece of their personal history on screen. It's a fascinating piece of cinematic history. As we bid adieu to our cinematic journey through the enchanting world of 1,944 seconds cover girl, I invite you to take a moment and reflect on the threads that connect you to this timeless masterpiece. This film, a true gem of its era, beckons us to explore our own lives through the lens of history. As you've watched the characters dance their dreams across the screen, did you find yourself transported back to a different time? Perhaps thinking of your grandparents, parents, or even your own youth. Maybe it's the glimmer of nostalgia or the realization of how much has changed since then that touched your heart. Cover Girl is a captivating tapestry of love, ambition, and the enduring power of dreams. It's a mirror reflecting our own hopes and aspirations. Did the story inspire you to chase your own dreams or rekindle forgotten passions? Share your thoughts, your favorite moments, or the emotions it stirred in you. This is your canvas to paint with your personal connection to this cinematic masterpiece. Your unique perspective is a cherished brushstroke on the canvas of film history, and we eagerly await your contribution. We are all, in one way or another, part of the Cover Girl story. Thank you for your time and your interest in this cinematic exploration. Your insights and memories are the heart and soul of this journey. Until we meet again for our next adventure, remember, every story is made richer by the storyteller.